So most respected uh, Dean School of Postgraduate Studies, sir, can we start the program, sir? Yes, madam. Uh, I'm happy yes, that uh, uh, your, your guest lecture is initiated. Yeah, please, madam. Yes, sir. So I would like to, on this occasion, our most uh, honorable Vice Chancellor, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Kwamato, the Dean, School of Postgraduate Studies, University officers, heads of the departments, students who have joined for this guest lecture on the topic of opportunities and emerging trends in food processing and CFTRI technologies, which will be delivered by Dr. T. Jyothirmai, who's a senior principal scientist and head of the CFTRI Resource Center in Hyderabad. So we are very glad that we are organizing this guest lecture today. Thanks to the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies and our Vice Chancellor who have initiated this series of guest lectures which has to be delivered by each of the uh, 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 eminent personalities who are uh, visiting our own institute. So at this point, I would request uh, our Dean, School of Postgraduate Studies, Dr. N. Sindhal, to welcome the gathering and also to offer his opening remarks. Sir, please, sir. Yes, madam. So good evening, madam. So uh, the, head of the head of the department, uh, Kamala, madam, and uh, uh, Dean Kanchana, Home Science College and uh, Research Institute. And today's uh, guest speaker, Jodi Mai from Hyderabad. Uh, I, 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 I hope the, the Home Science College, uh, Community College uh, Research Institute have the uh, very long history and have the, many of the leading speakers already delivered the lectures in this college. And this is one of the leading uh, uh, leading college institute for the food science research. And now, uh, really, I'm happy that uh, this uh, guest lecture is being organized in uh, Community College Research Institute, Madurai. And again, I really thank uh, Jodhimai for the come over here, madam, uh, to sh uh, sh share your uh, thoughts with the uh, scientists and also the students of uh, community college, community kind science college and research institute uh, for their your wonderful experiences and which definitely will make our students, it will be more helpful for them. And also I request the students, please uh, try to interact with the guest speakers to learn the experience what the madam gained so far. So the TNAU uh, under, the, under our leadership of my chancellor, madam, we uh, planned series of guest lectures and endowment lectures. Uh, this is mainly to support the students to get uh, knowledge, the cross discipline. Uh, Madam, this is the guest lecture not only been uh, been watched by the uh, uh, community science college or the food science people, but also the students of across all the discipline in agriculture also. And also these uh, lectures we already Archived in the uh, in the in the in PGS site and also the YouTube's and as those who are could not able to attend because of some uh, busy schedule or some other preoccupied uh, other occupations they can uh, look off offline uh, later also in the uh, YouTube's and also the uh, Microsoft Team platform. So this will definitely, madam, uh, will help us to uh, students to can get the. Uh, knowledge through your lectures and also whenever they want to refer or whenever they want to have some kind of uh, clarification on that they any time they can uh, visualize they we watch the videos and get clarified and also i request all the online uh, audience you can put your questions in the chat box which helps us helps the speaker to give your uh, opinion on that or some of the questions and again, I'm again, uh, once again, and sincerely request all the my st postgraduates students, please be interactive with the speaker. Then only any speaker deliver a lecture, definitely they will be so happy to interact with the students. So I, I request all the students, please be interactive. And also I thank the uh, organizers and the Community Science College for uh, giving the opportunity to participate in your uh, in the session. And I hope this lecture will be more fruitful mm -hmm. and more interactive and more helpful for the students to share, they get their knowledge on hand. So thank you, madam. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. I thank you one and all for this evening session. 
Thank you very much, Dean, sir. So we would like to thank you for uh, providing us all the logistics uh, for conducting this uh, guest lecture and more so also for uh, sparing the time. I'm mean, you're very busy scheduled at present, sir, to join us in this uh, online for this guest lecture. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you. So I would now like to request our dean, Dr. S. Kanchana, Dean of Community Science College and Research Institute, Madurai, to introduce the guest speaker. So good afternoon, everyone present here. I think after a heavy lunch, we are as we assemble here to hear a very good lecture. Not lecture, it is an interactive meeting with our guest speaker. Before going in for the introduction of the speaker, I am very happy and I am very much thankful to our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam, for initiating such a nice program for our students, for the benefit of our students, not only for this Community Science College students, for the benefit of the other students all over Tamil Nadu. And not only Tamil Nadu, all over the world. I am very much thankful to you, Madam, because this type of lectures, when we are getting it, it is only restricted to limited students. Now it is open to all. Wherever we are organizing the program, the students could able to visualize and they get more knowledge. So this initiative is very good. And we will be very happy to have the first series of this type of um, guest lecture in this Community Science College and Research Institute. We are very much thankful to our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam, for this type of initiation. And I would like to thank the Dean School of Postgraduate Studies for joining with us today. And also, Sarah has given a very good warm welcome to the entire group gathered here and also providing all logistics for conducting this type of guest lecture, sir. We are very much happy. And also your team member, Dr. Eno Gopal, sir, is associating very well with us in organizing this program. Thank you for being with us today. And I think this type of support will make us to uh, develop our institute. And also it will benefit the entire students community as well as staff community. Thank you, sir. Now I'll go in for the formal introduction about the speaker. I think uh, Madam is already introduced to you all in the morning. Madam has come over here for our final Viva OZ of Mrs. M.G. Anita Shri. And morning Madam has completed that Viva OZ. And uh, she has, Madam has given a very good suggestion for the improvement and additional work that can be taken up for the PhD program as a PDF program, not as PhD, as PDF program and also gave very good suggestions for us. Thank you so much, Madam, for your very good suggestion. And I'm happy to introduce Dr. T. T. Jodi Moyi, Madam. Madam is a senior principal scientist and head CSIR, CFTR Resource Center, Hyderabad. We all know that Central Food Technological Research, Research Institute is in Mysore. So the resource center is in Hyderabad. One more, they are having it in Lucknow and Bombay. I and, uh, and we were talking with Madam. The Madam said that Hyderabad is functioning very well with a very good supporting staff and technical staff. And also they are releasing many technologies. So really, we are very fortunate to have Dr. Jodhimai, Madam, here for this lecture. So Madam has got wider experience in the field of research and development of 30 years. And Madam's specialization is on biochemistry. He is, again, I'm telling that the mitochondria is the powerhouse like that. Biochemistry is the powerhouse for all our research. For all researchers, we need the biochemist. And so biochemistry is playing a major role and they are very much involved in food processing technology and also in food chemistry. Uh, and then Madam has a good, very good service in the field of biochemistry. And in the under HRD, Madam has served for 20 years and transferred many technologies. That is very, very required nowadays because now students should not be a job seeker. They should be a job provider. When they want to be a job provider, many technologies they should know they have to be a startup initially. Then only they can provide job to many people. In that angle, Madam has transferred many technologies to the uh, 
industries entrepreneurs and also for the students and in that way madam has contributed a lot and again research papers whatever research that has been carried out by madam that has been published in very reputed journals nas related journals scopus index journal so all that and has got a very good high index madam i am is having that one so in that way madam can also contribute for what type of research is needed and how we should proceed so uh, madam's research paper is more than 55 and again the great thing about this um, about madam is patent now everybody is speaking about patent madam has already got three patents and i think many of the patents will be on the pipeline and really we are very very fortunate to have madam here to, and we are very much eager to hear the uh, experience whatever madam had for the past 30 years so that that experience will benefit our students and also the staff members thank you may now request uh, our former dean dr s amuda madam to felicitate uh, this occasion and also give her remarks pleasant good evening to one and all who have assembled for the lecture series on opportunities and emerging trends in food processing and safety array technologies so uh, it is my honor uh, to welcome dr jodhir mai ma'am who is a senior principal scientist and head chaser organization cftr hyderabad and also very well welcome dr sandil dean school of postgraduate studies dr kanchana dean community science college Dr. Hemalatha, Professor and Head for Science and Nutrition; Dr. Parimalam, Professor and Head FRM, Faculties and dear student friends, pleasant good evening once again. So it is my honor to be a part of this today program. Just I will say two or three registrations in this segment. So you know, food processing industry is now uh, changed towards a different di dimension. For example, previously it was an industry. with all common old gold technologies like dehydration freezing canning and other non thermal processing technologies but today it is it is focusing towards plant based uh, technologies so we have we need to work on vegetarianism things are gone non vegetarian population is going to be reduced you know covid pandemic how it changes our lifestyle and food eating pattern and also we have to think in the direction of grain free flows and also functional foods and nutraceuticals like uh, sustainable diets and also we should be very careful in eating a safe and uh, uh, labeled and also uh, safe food right from processing that is from farm to fork and also we should think in the direction of flavors flavors also gaining much importance and another area i want to throw light is on food nanotechnology because uh, the nano level how it is going to preserve the food for a very long time and also with respect to drinking water drinking water also we should give more importance and uh, different different kinds of cocktails fruit juices everything we have to pay more attention when we think of processing and the preservation and another important area is picking important is antimicrobial packaging that is also very important and a new dimension in food uh, value addition is supply chain supply chain means it is not only involved with the farmer it starts with the farmer and it goes along the chain with the different uh, people involving in different processing it may be transport or it may be a processing industry or it may be a packaging industry and another thing is consumer empowerment consumers nowadays they are health conscious and also they know very well which food is safe and which food is not safe so consumer empowerment we have to throw directions and also resource optimization we have to uh, dynamically use the different resources and uh, to the bottom line statement is mental health diets so nowadays all are having so many issues related to mental health so we can give me importance to mental health diets vegan diets and also low carb diets and vegetarian diets and, uh, and also robotics how uh, robotics is going to play a major role in uh, food processing 
and also instead of reverse osmosis we should think about forward osmosis and animal free products these are some of the important topics to be through light and as a undergraduate and as a postgraduate phd students i wish you all success and you should have new new innovative topics in your research thank you for the opportunity given thank you thank you very much madam and i think uh, we have come to the most uh, awaited moment so we would love and like to invite our guest speaker dr jyotirmayi madam senior scientist cftri hyderabad to make her presentation on the topic of opportunities and emerging trends in food processing and cftri technologies so student it is a great opportunity for you all and each student listen attentively to whatever madam has to say because whatever technologies which she will be presenting today it might give you some idea or a take home uh, message as to how you can uh, work out on your project work for your ug students and pg students for your own research program so so i think we would now request uh, the guest speaker to do the honors thank you madam over to you network of professionals of foods and nutrition so all of you like you know you should be the ambassadors and you should tell like you know you should know what we should eat what we should not know the junk food and all we should avoid and all so i'll be touching upon along with my lecture so actually we work for uh, you know central food technological research institute it is a like you know premier one of the food and you know, a premier of industries so even in the covid time like you know all textile business all electronic business everything was down but food is like you know it's a basic need it cannot be and that too like you know lot of these convenience foods instant foods ready to eat ready to you uh, know serve ready to uh, cook and all Yeah, so these things like you know, actually CFTR developed in 80s, 90s only, but now the markets are ready. So now, like you know, you go anywhere, like you know, you leave your hometown, but your traditional food is available somewhere. You can pick up and you can use. So such is you know availability, convenience, and all that. Yeah, like you know, CSIR. This is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. So industrial scale operations. So if we do at home, no small. When labor is more, our volume will be less and our profits are less. So using mechanization and all, so we can have like you know more production at an affordable like you know and even the product can be kept at a reasonable rate. And then like you know this is uh, Mysore is our head office. It's a Mysore Maharaja Sisters Palace. and big uh, campus 158 acres with uh, 150 years lease for 1 rupee rent so that is what we got it is 1950 started 1925 will be having that 75 year uh, ceremony and then you know we work on post harvest see agriculture and you no know, food processing they are all interrelated even now our prime ministers uh, you know doubling the farmers income is possible only if the farmers their families take up the value addition just to the production no unless you have got doubling the farm yield and all otherwise it's not possible for doubling the farmers income so that this is what actually prime minister's uh, vision like you know they should get more this one because that's why because all perishable things all things we can make into valuation shelf stable like 3 months to 6 months to 9 months to 1 year so the fruits and vegetables they are highly perishable so if you want to purchase and all within a week you have to eat but you make that you know pulps you make the jams you make jellies so there you no know, the shelf life is more so we have got three resource centers one at hyderabad one at lucknow one at mumbai recently we started another one at north east so the advantage of india for food processing really like you know our nation is blessed with all types of uh, you know agriculture climate climatic 26 climatic zones are you know types are there so all things like you know even foreign crops like dragon fruit kiwi so chia seeds quinoa seeds we are able to grow so our really hats off to our farmers without which like you know we you know the self sufficiency wouldn't have achieved so this is the, the uh, this uh, so diverse agro climatic conditions ours is the largest livestock population country third largest food producer in the world largest producer of pulses leading producer of consumer milk and milk products 
then again uh, core cereals millets really we are having a wonderful this one of uh, no 20 millets available out of which four are very common the barnyard kodo uh, no these uh, things are also so the fifth in poultry production second in production of wheat rice groundnut and fourth in coarse grain second largest producer of fruits and vegetables at the same time we are having abundant skilled and unskilled workforce at a very cheaper cost in us no anything 1 dollar so you uh, know 1 hour at least they get you know whatever minimum wages uh, this one but whereas we with you know, here 500 to 700 you pay whole day 8 hours labor we can able to get and leading producer of this plantation crops coconut spices cashew nut ginger turmeric black pepper no all like you know you see anything so we are capable of growing so but again no when it comes to this one no at the same time india confronts a situation where surplus and uh, starvation coexist so obesity and malnutrition so people are no over consuming and are some are them are not having any food at all so that is thing and uneven distribution and wastage are the main causes and professor m s swaminathan all of you no no who is he louder please so not eaten properly lunch yeah father of green revolution so he is also like you know he is a chairman for the national commission on farmers so he is quoting having mountains of grains on one side and hungry million on the other so the like you know by 2020 the economic divide nutrition divide and uh, no economic divide will widen unless we address this uh, the system so that's why we have to do post harvest technologies we have to grow and again we have to do valuation we have to make the products available so lack of proper post harvest infrastructure like you know uneven drains you know drought and all famines so all of things you know like really whatever but whatever we produced also because of rains and all they get again no wet and all the, the things will not be like you know warehousing and uh, infrastructure supply chain management as amuda madam rightly told so all these things like you know because of these things we are losing 30000 crores annually and then to improve farmers economy and save nations wealth the need of the hour is to build sustainable uh, no supply chain linked to the farmer so backward integration to the farmer is essential see nowadays we are seeing farmer is getting less prices for his crop and consumer we you know we are paying higher cost whereas a middleman is making too much busy, you know they are making money whereas farmer is you no know, tomatoes and all we see you know they are not even getting 5 rupees but when when we walk into supermarket we are ready to pay with 20 rupees where is that 15 rupees going so it's all like you know middleman that super stores and all that no so they are uh, taking the money so that is what integrated post harvest technology infrastructure the farmers also should have confidence that their entire crop will be sold so and with a remunerative price because you know with lot of hardship with environmental conditions he is capable of growing but again like he is not getting so he should not like you know whatever his interest if it loses so he grow grows crop only for his family all of us will be left without food so that is what the farmer should be getting benefited next slide yeah so this is having a highest socio economic development india is a, you know basically an agriculture based country so we are having you no know, it's a labor intensive so it employs 18 to 20% of labor force so you are seeing you no know, in the agriculture also agriculture labor and all will come then harvesting then you no know, that um, um, putting into the stores and all you no know, that uh, small vendors the big vendors then uh, you know processing then finished products then their supply so it is not only direct employment it offers indirect employment also anyway food is a basic need it is a high priority area it is always a sunrise industry so that is what food you know there is no this one now lot of people are going you know from your native places to abroad other countries and all to make the food available definitely food has got more you no know, potential then it's a uh, optimal utilization of agro resources we have to take up highly decentralized small and cottage scale industries are existing dominant predominance of only primary processing see paddy so people are selling only like you know rice that's it so you think of alternate this one with that no with dal mill and rice mill so you can make you know instant idli mix instant dosa mix instant vada mix 
so again very convenient if you want to make idli dosa so previous day you should soak grind ferment then only you can plan idli next day whereas these instant mixes with equal taste equal safety so cftri offers technologies so they will get like you know that's what even you don't take the full rice you take the broken rice and broken pulse so which comes with very less uh, price and all so you make like you know 1 kg of rice may be priced at uh, 50 rupees whereas 200 gram of instant uh, dosa mix and all so you go to a hotel they may charge 25 rupees to 100 150 rupees in star hotels whereas with the dosa mix 200 gram 70 rupees also you can sell your product with the 15 20 you know dosas so something like that so that is what you know lot of you know you think of that's what as madam rightly told kanjana madam so all of us should be like you know job not job seekers but we should be in a position you no know, that's a, that's a really entrepreneurial quality is such a beautiful feeling that you are not only standing on your legs but you are also offering no the um, many people employment here i want to quote one person's example really motivating one shrikant bolla so he is a complete blind person he is actually uh, uh, was uh, he got a seat at uh, yeah, no iits but he was denied because they said we can't tackle a blind person so he went to massachusetts institute of technology usa and then uh, there also he got fabulous jobs but seeing his the condition he came back to india and he is making that biodegradable plates so just a leaf cup plate making machine and all and he is exporting to other countries also and tatas have invested 10 crores of rupees in his company because 65% of his employees are differently able person so a single blind person made such a huge difference so this is like you know whatever we can do wonders so that is what you no know, he really inspiring and he is also using whatever that water recycling and all so many things really you know hardly 30 32 years of age but he is give providing employment to 65% of all his employees are differently able so this is what you no know, there is a lot of scope for that so don't think of only like you know anybody wants you no know, somebody is making business we want to uh, duplicate the same it is not nowadays lot of things that atal incubation centers and all that so some innovation so you incorporate some innovation lot of venture capitalists are ready to fund you and you can make the product so like you know morning morning madam another uh, madam student anita sri that's what some fermented beverage so that we can make into a better product and with the combination of cereal millet so it can go you no know, for the health of the people and all because even like you know fermented products are having huge benefit so there is a lot of research going on so our gut gut microbiota is influencing our blood pressure so they are influencing our health condition so that is what you know all the latest research so that is what you also can think of then enhancement of farmers economy and improvement in quality of life of rural will contribute really food safety food security the nutrition security and also price stabilization that's what we see you no know, onions tomato lot of you know, price fluctuation so some seasons they they are you no know, cheaper some seasons they are costlier so even tomato for this example i want to say so tomato ketchup if you want to make you have to use you no know, the only tomatoes fully ripened tomatoes you should not add any color so in the bakeries you see lots of other vegetable sauces so like pumpkin potato and all whereas those means like you know they are vegetable sauces 1 kg you will get 2 3 kg because starch content is there and all but tomatoes you start with 10 kg you will end up with only 2.25 kg of your sauce it's only concentration total total soluble solid from 3.5% of local tomatoes to hybrid tomatoes 7 so our final specification is 28 total soluble solids so degree bricks so that is what like you know it's no no you should not add any color so not unripe these ones so fully ripe so that's what farmers when they get those things backward uh, you yeah, know integration so they will get uh, enough money then the processor also will be able to otherwise with the you know 25 rupees and uh, this one they cannot manufacture sauce at all so that's why in bakeries you see all sorts of you no know, it's no consistency nothing 
so all sorts of things they are dumping on us so main constraints for food industrial growth raw material availability the price of it suitability of with that consistency that's what i said no hybrid tomatoes no that bangalore hybrid oval one which has got more total soluble solid so everybody prefers so the local ones is very tasty they are sour and very good but again economics so from 3.5 degree bricks to 7 degree so you have to you know um, concentrate again the power will go up double so again you know your cost of production will go up so that's why all industries are using only the hybrid tomatoes if you want to have you can install a solar dryer you can cut the pieces you can semi dry then you can use it then your economy you know that power consumption will come down so higher logistic cost because you know the industry is somewhere production is somewhere again distribution you have to put so with all these things the cost will go up large number of marginal farm holdings so like us you know they'll have over 2000 acres of wheat 2000 acres of soya so all common agriculture practices common harvest practices common you no know, everything so but whereas our farmers you know with 10 maximum of 10 acres also if somebody gets you no know, more price for a specific crop they will switch over so they won't see the soil condition they won't see the weather condition so he is making money i have also also have to make money so all of them will put tomatoes the ultimately price will come down and at least 10 rupees it will fall down to 3 4 rupees so that is what is happening so that we should not you know that's what the farmers also should get you know benefited so you all also as uh, you know um, agriculture students food and nutrition student you should also advise them because you are also adopting some villages and you are telling all these things then huge gap between farm gate price and price to the consumer so that's what i said no the tomatoes we may be purchasing at 20 30 rupees a kilo whereas a farmer will get a meager 2 to 5 rupees so that is only then varietal suitability for processing and price yield factor so for example alfonso is very good fruit for mango so maharashtra is making lot of that alfonso products and all pulp and all whereas there actually you will get you no know, small fruit more wastage will be there that uh, peel and seed waste so they will get only maximum of 55 to 60 percent whereas tota puri you get 72 to 75 percent pulp so that is like whatever but again alfonso is having good color good flavor so whereas tota puri is having consistency but not much of flavor and all so coca cola and all use the blend of both alfonso and tota puri because if they use only alfonso again the price will go up and the consumer will face the uh, uh, no uh, uh, condition then uh, my ministry of food processing in uh, industries vision 2015 document so increase level of processing so from meager 6% so we are not at all doing any processing we are not much exporting we are just using whatever no all of us also seasonal fruits we are enjoying how many of us are putting like you know canned products we are using how we using so they are available but again no we think when they made what is that preservative may be there so which again no without much knowledge so in the canning process actually we are not adding any preservatives in the freezing process we are not adding any preservatives but instant quick frozen so after cutting you put after 3 4 hours again microbial spoilage will go up so you instant quick freeze so within 15 minutes so it will be like you know minus 40 is minus 80 so they will be so many are making and no srini food park at chittur yng at uh, hyderabad so lot of them you know the uh, one other famous company is uh, uh, al kabir so alana sons alana sons since 1850 they are exporting meat so all instant quick frozen so immediately the meat will be frozen so in the frozen containers only minus 20 degrees they are shipping so it is 1850 they are doing now mango pulp tota puri slices so all fruits vegetables anything we can do that so again that the, those the, the, no they are not having any preservative and frozen foods you are always having 100% nutrient intact whereas in the canning process so because of the heat process and all vitamin loss will be there nutrients will be there like you know our carbohydrates fats and uh, um protein nothing happens 
but whereas you have vitamins so vitamin c b complex and all they will become like you know 60% retention only will be there so but still they are safe you can use for one year to three years canned product frozen product so till like you know three four years also nothing happens and uh, so these are the things and then increase valuation from meager 20% to at least 35% in increase india share in global food market from 1.5% See such a meager this one. Whereas small countries like Thailand, Brazil, and all, no, Brazil coffee is famous. They are making 60% of their produce into valuation. So that powders, you know, instant coffee concentrates. So like that they are sending. 50 million urban middle class with its growing purchase power. So we have got huge potential. So changing food habits, preference to convenience foods. so i am telling convenience foods but don't get carried away with this figgies and all we can order and all so all that also like you know when they would have prepared when they would have given and all that you know maida and all is like you know all junk only carbohydrate so you take the whole grains you don't take only like you know refined flours and all because fiber is one thing you know which is a real very good this one which prevents like you know diabetes which prevents constipation which is again no having lot of no anti cancer and all so fiber is such a one so i advise all of you to eat whole fruits and whole wheat flour so don't use maida whole fruit only for children and you no know, old people who cannot gulp down the power uh, no fiber so for them only you give the beverages so fruit juices otherwise whole fruit is more nutritious than the fruit juices also so again changing food habits you know that this one and growing need for convenience foods due to urbanization today we had seen in the incubators how somebody is making like you know mbif so they are making uh, you know that biryani paste curry paste biryanis and non veg curries and all so like that you no know, people are uh, looking for you know ready to eat you know instant foods and all even itc so they are also giving instant mixes bonda mix vada mix so all sorts of things and spices and all no like curry paste so curry paste curry powders so all of them so there is a huge uh, demand for them then uh, favorable market drivers for packaged processed food increasing proportion of urban working women growing organized retail markets we go to a supermarket whether we like or not something will be put it very nicely so we attract and we purchase so these things shift on household expenditure on you know the basic uh, Uh, the cereals pulses edible oils salt sugar spices are declining so milk and milk products meat egg fish fruits vegetables beverages are increasing because the awareness no all uh, this one so these you know high protein like all of us you should take more protein still we lack our protein uh, diets so we are actually consuming more of carbohydrate only either wheat or rice so it's only like you know and we consume more uh, Uh, cereal and less curry and all that so actually one third of our plate should be fruit and vegetable one third should be protein and one third only other things together so protein is really lacking so the main sources of protein are pulses and again no pulses again we are cooking but again we cook a 150 gram shared by members you no know, four members divided by again two meals so we are not even getting a 8 to 10 gram all of us should consume minimum of 0.8 to 0.9 gram per kg body weight whereas growing children will be requiring 1 to 1.2 gram per kg body weight so where we should get is so much protein is the best answer is oil seed meals after you extract the oil all oil seeds including coconut so coconut uh, after oil expulsion the cake will have 35% protein soya bean is having the 52% protein the peanuts are also having 50 they are 48 to 53% so even sunflower also so like that no so many products so cftri we developed lot of products like protein concentrates protein isolates protein hydrolysates so for sports nutrition and all so all these things we can make use of then um, uh, increased food safety and hygiene consciousness consciousness growing health and wellness consciousness nowadays no individualized diet plans no all of them no now we want to consult a dietitian so which is good which is not good and all that so that is why like you know that health and wellness is uh, no 
consciousness is being increased paradigm shift of joint families to nuclear families earlier our grandparents used to nicely you know whole day you know by morning they used to give us and lunch they will plan and evening by the time we went from schools also they were ready to give us food but whereas now we only are reaching home very late so the children so for that you know lot of uh, you know convenience foods that's why emergence of wide range of innovative and safe reliable quality branded products so those are coming in the market so that is why then product modification matching to consumer demands what consumer is now require you know uh, is looking for is having less synthetic ingredients so which are you know having no additives so natural so natural be you know the fruit juices and all tetra pack they are advertising so people are preferring foods and ingredients healthier for us local flavor and taste so we cannot impose an north indian flavor to a south indian so local flavor and uh, you know taste we should existing product modified to address lifestyle disorders like obesity hypertension blood pressure heart ailments so that is why health and wellness based products are gaining importance and especially like you know now fssai is campaigning aaj se thoda kam so from today onwards let us reduce all you know that white material so low low sugar low fat you uh, know reduced calorie low sodium so sodium like you know morning madams you know anita sri this one also we had seen more potassium will be there sodium like you know whatever you know we start our day with idli dosa chutney then pickles especially so much actually according to world health organization only 4 to 5 grams salt per day per person so from the beginning you know we eat and for children also we give the same snack so they also get used to that you no know, if you give bland they don't like to eat so that is why that sodium so okay you eat so much sodium but you sweat it out you do exercise you do this one so that it will not but nowadays no nobody wants to do that uh, this one so now have like your uh, no compulsory breakfast never skip meals once in a while is okay that you no know, intermittent fasting not every day not regularly and eat all things and don't get carried away by like whatsapp messages so such things are coming you no know, really because whatsapp now is free so whatever we get you know without thinking without this one forward to many groups so especially recently that uh, ata like you know that itc has uh, you no know, huge losses because somebody said plastic is there in uh, this one so you put that and all that is actually the gluten protein that's why we are able to make roti whereas jowar roti is very difficult to make but this is the one which you get uh, you know with the gluten protein only it is not plastic and you think of log you know logically also plastic is costing you minimum you no know, any packaging material 100 rupees a kilo whereas wheat flour you are getting for 40 to 50 rupees how a costly material they will add into a this one so how many platforms we told also no some plastic is there that's why that is uh, no you are getting elasticity and all and even uh, the other uh, this one no like you know lot of uh, these i um, know uh, kadarwali some this one eat only millet and that to only uh, brown top millet only so not other things are not good and all so our uh, grandparents survived with only you know whatever habits we are having so don't get carried away by like you know without so don't see like you know simple uh, uh, these ones you go into deeper and you know if you really want google scholar articles and all so they are good so just uh, don't even nowadays you know we are all consuming you uh, know uh, iodized salt only but hypo and hyper both are becoming more incidents you know hyperthyroidism so again in the uh, web they put don't eat milk don't eat gluten don't eat cabbage don't eat spinach so all sorts of things they are putting but you really like you know see the very good articles written by like you know the persons who experienced who has come out of thyroid in what way they have given so like that we should see and then uh, they, they said no aaj se thoda kam so you advise all the elderly so earlier our traditional sweets also we used to make with jaggery so jaggery is having you know other minerals calcium other things you refine to a full you know that 95 98% uh, uh, sucrose only so you are eating refined sugar so that it gives you instant calories but again so even sports persons also earlier glucose you they used to consume 
so at the end point no they used to collapse so that sustainability is gone whereas you eat protein no your muscle will get developed and no that myoglobin it carries oxygen and you will be having very good uh, this one so that is what and prebiotic and you no know, probiotic enriched dairy products and baby foods so again these i said no our gut microbiota is playing a vital role in controlling all other things so earlier also whenever we used to have antibiotic so doctors used to advise us to eat more curds so that is what is the basic principle so now they are scientifically validating next so causes of food spoilage mainly mainly by microorganisms so bacteria yes you keep the bread outside after the due date no you see the fungus penicillium molds are coming so then again uh, self decomposition of aspergillus then self decomposition of the food by enzymatic and biochemical reactions like you know oxidations so you keep our traditional foods as such so again that rancidity oil look gets rancidity after the you no know, three third week and all whereas you put in that metallized polyester packing with nitrogen flush so the product is safe for consumption for 4 to 6 months so that is what simple the same traditional food so like you know these mtrs haldiram so they are giving that package so the same shelf life of our traditional product is being increased and damage by insects pests rodents and other animals and mechanical causes then the methods of food preservation this is an important slide so reduction of water activity in the field itself paddy will get dried red chilies turmeric so there itself we are removing excess moisture so that the things are much safer then preservation by adding sugar jams and jellies so with 68% sugar content present in that so those are good for children not for adults then preservation by salt our ancestral pickling process and all then high temperature processing so boiling so sterilization all our fruit juices maza the all these things then low temperature preservation refrigerated temperature as well as frozen cold storage and so that like you know green peas and you know these things you know lot of things cut vegetables also we give the technology so this can be kept for 8 to 10 days at uh, ambient conditions so it is not required for 4 degrees but 12 to 14 degree with 65% relative humidity recently for big basket we have given cut fruit technology so very recent and cut fruits also we can keep for one week time so that is what and then freezing preservation so frozen peas mango pal tota puri slices so anything all fruits and vegetables cut things anything can be kept by we are freezing preservation preservation by using chemical preservatives so sodium benzoate potassium metabisulfite potassium sorbate so with all those things we can preserve and adjustment of ph and acidity add little citric acid to our juices also like fruit juices no whether if they are very sour we cannot consume if they are very sweet also the taste will not be there so it is like you know bia specifications 0.12 to 0.15% acidity and in the um, the squashes and all no concentrate form in the packs you can remove the air and you can flush with nitrogen and all it can be and preservation by hurdle technology so more than one you add uh, you know in the pickle salt also and on the surface you just pour a small layer of oil so again that is also antimicrobial then radiation preservation so irradiation so that uh, potatoes can be the uh, sprouting can be prevented then mangoes also if you want to export 37 countries have given uh, clearance for irradiated because surface sterilization will happen and packaging packaging itself i said no traditional foods we can so ready mixes so i said no idli mix dosa mix pakodi mix so anything you no know, jamun mix earlier jamun no with kova and all with so much difficulty now all companies they are giving so now universal we purchase only the jamun mix and we can then therapeutic foods the yogurts and esdophilus milk and tampe so all of them no they are really like you know if you are uh, using antibiotic you use these things you are again you will come back to your no fitness then ready to cook foods idli and dosa batter vermicelli so again those things and bio processed foods 
like you know ambali that kanji and cheese and sour crat so malted ragi flour enzyme rich so this is one person has take, taken technology from davangere and he is now supplying to kampla and no, that ragi malt so again ready to eat puts dermal process puts in retard pouches i said your incubation facility also it is there so all curries all rice then your curd rice your sambar rice you are no that whatever you love that no paneer butter masala then uh, no all uh, palak paneer so any curry or dal also anything can be put in that pouch and then it is safe for 9 months shelf life then again energy food so ma malted weaning food poushtik aata high protein soya cereal mix so our aata also i said no whether wheat or rice it is actually having same nutrition so only people are telling like chapati because we roll and we eat for a more time no the sat satiety so our uh, no satisfaction will get we consume less whereas rice so soft and all we eat more that is the only reason otherwise rice and wheat nutrition is almost same then now uh, nutrient rich spirulina so spirulina is a blue green algae is a real good uh, this one so the dehydrated that powder will have 60% protein then uh, omega 3 fatty acids and all and vitamins you know that heat stable vitamins also are there so that is why like you know and uh, during covid time actually cftri has offered spirulina incorporated chikki along with spirulina foundation based at mangalore so they actually even for bangalore and all india institute of medical sciences and police persons doctors and uh, patients also we have offered the chikki and then we got a very good response because they are energy dense and all that time actually the doctors also were doing over duty and they were not getting enough food and all so we got a very good appreciation letters the energy food amyl is rich then health drinks so earlier like you know people were telling clarified crystal clear juices but now you are see you no know, that pulpy orange and thick mango so all these things and even uh, nimbu pani one brand has come so with all uh, that uh, haze so that pectin and all that soluble you no know, fibers and all so that is what the fiber plays an important role so that's why pulpy fruits fruit juices pineapple juice amla ji amla no again vitamin c rich this one honey based beverages sugar cane juice and foods for diabetics we have got a range of like you know starting from breakfast to lunch to dinner so all sugar free breads biscuits rusks cake mixes low sugar milk burfis and all hypocholesterolemic so again cholesterol lowering so here we actually use the extrusion technology so high pressure high temperature so with that actually even cftri hyderabad we are having extruder we are working on 100% millet extruded products so actually uh, like you know there is no fat in that at all so whenever you want you just put, put the spice only for spice bind, binding you can use 7 to 8% fat, no oil whereas like you know our deep fat fried is you know uh, chips and kurkure you see the label so i advise all of you just before eating you just see the food label then only purchase because like you know saturated fat is more or what and then fat content per se so added sugar so in the fruit juices also they say from the fruit it is only 4 to 5% the other 7 grams will be added in your 100 gram the sugar so that is why please read the labels it's very important any packaged food product ready to eat and ready to this one so compulsory should have a label without which fssa will you know inspect and they will ban the things also then uh, protein snacks like you know i said high protein upma mix ruchi meeta protein rich vermicelli because wheat also that vermicelli also is having only 6 to 7% protein so you incorporate some chickpea and no pulses in that so again it will be a balanced diet so again uh, soya based instant sambar mix so all these things cftra has developed yeah next next uh, slide so uh, the emerging again baked products in place of deep fat fried products and in in place of baked products now extruded products then canned products high pressure processed fruit juices so again here high pressure no thermal processing only pressure so that all microbials will be destroyed but these are safe to consume only one month at refrigerated temperature but they are also having equal no all vitamins will be intact and instant quick frozen for no iqf so immediately like you know frozen samosas and all are there 
so you can get them and then you can fry at your oil so outside no they are very tasty pakodas bajjis and all but they are using no that uh, 50 times the same oil it gets fried and all so lot of you know that uh, ph will be formed and all poly aromatic hydrocarbons so again they were they are not good for uh, our health then ready to eat and ready to uh, no cook frozen products so nuggets no chicken nuggets and also you can just get them you can fry at your place millet products vacuum fried products even madam also got the facility how the madam incubation facility you can see then vacuum freeze dried products again whatever you want no like your pongal mix you can make it freeze dry send abroad they can just add water and they can consume yeah next next so food processing industry has a great scope for development in india and helps bridging the two important pillars of our indian economy agriculture and industry so production of food grains you know is uh, more you know spectacular 290 million metric tons but however quantity of processed food is very meager so small countries like pakistan and bangladesh are exporting mangoes better than us so all spices also are getting exported from other uh, countries because like you know awareness and farmers you know we used a lot of pesticide residues mainly our uh, things are not going because of our pesticide residue problem so small countries they are exporting better then our main cftri main focus is on development of low cost and cost effective adaptable food technologies utilization of indigenous raw material we need not import raw material from other country so i said no hats off to our farmers we are able to grow dragon fruit kiwi fruit and cftri's uh, intervention on quinoa chia so we have developed our own uh, selected ones and we have given across the country more than uh, 10000 to 20000 farmers even i was surprised when i just started seeing the seeds initially i was seeing in the supermarkets 1800 rupees a kilo and uh, 900 rupees a kilo now it has come down to 80 to 100 rupees so quinoa and chia 180 to 220 rupees we are able to get so these also we consider them as super crops because quinoa is having all essential amino acids and chia seed is having um, no this uh, uh, yeah, um, omega 3 so this is actually only our flax seed was having very meager quantity whereas cftri released uh, this one especially alpha linoleic acid so there it is not present in any except marine sources whereas this is a selected variety of chia seed white so we got 20% oil present in the seed out of which 60% you know the almost 6% of your seed contains alpha linoleic acid ala so which is a very good this one so by you no know, this bio friendly technology so i really you know tell everywhere like you know chemical industry you know all other pesticides so all other industries are environmental not friendly they release so many things and all whereas like you know our things is really environment friendly and you know whatever waste generated you know the peels of fruits and vegetables the husk so we can make use of so that uh, peel waste and other things we can generate uh, gas fuel we can generate electricity the rest also can go as a manure so there is no waste at all so that uh, you know effluent treatment plant we should not release to the drains directly so you make use of and uh, hyderabad that bovenpalli fruit market vegetable market now it is running with the waste generated from the only this one and the varangal the municipality waste actually take care of the utmost care in giving a safe food healthy food and a nutritious food to the consumer so whatever technology we offer we also tell them like you know the processing as well as uh, the total nutrition present in the product then we have developed more than 800 food products and even amul so recent azadi ka amrit mahotsav also cftri amul story only was the best viewed this one so even that time nddb so the, those person also came into online and he also expressed so this one and then we have actually more than 6000 people are being uh, trained annually 
so like you know even students also like you know local colleges we actually give them hands on training program on food processing value addition as well as uh, quality control so three days four days these jams jellies ketchups fruit juices so we are giving training so that they can you know become entrepreneurs so our broad areas food technology food science food engineering technology transfer and business development so india with the second largest arable land in the world we have got diverse agro climatic zones tremendous production advantages in agriculture and good potential to cultivate a vast range of products so processing them will help food processing industries so we are having different categories like you know we put in the this one animal products beverage products bakery products cereal products convenience foods food machinery fruit and vegetable products microbiology and fermentation products plantation and spice products and protein specialty foods so again emerging range again protein specialty foods instant gravy mixes meat fish poultry wafers so all of you love potato chips so you know no one can just eat one no like less advertisement but again it is 100% junk it is only a carbohydrate and uh, oil nothing is present in that so that's why you use you uh, know meat fish egg poultry wafers so there you get protein also and liquid fruits and instant traditional foods and ready mixes and it's obvious that increased economic growth in agri business through food food processing can play a significant role in reducing rural poverty and increasing rural income so this is prime minister's vision no doubling the farmers income so this food processing sector has a great potential for employment i told no direct and indirect so starting from growing then again distribution marketing then again value addition storage of the excess then value addition and then finished product supply so that is a huge scope and all this uh, this one and enhancing the shelf life of agriculture products and reducing wastages will be tantamount to increase production we need not because whatever we are self sufficient but we should not waste whatever is this one i said no wastage even now 30% of our mango also like you know rottening and no we are throwing instead of we can extract the pulp and keep for a year so we can use mango in the ice cream so we can make in the beverages we can make in the jams so all such things so we work on like you know processing preservation storage handling packaging as well as valuation then we have got again i said no food science food technology food engineering technology transfer information dissemination human resource development and uh, quality control guidance and analysis of full food samples also like you know that cftri analytical facility is one of the finest food testing lab in the world so it is only four centers are present all over india one in the east one west one south one north so east uh, kolkata west pune uh, south mysore and uh, the other one at faridabad so that is all only four testing labs so if you get a certificate from mysore so the product like you know the nutritional labeling like it can be exported to any place like you know according to the country specifications also like according to yeah, european union so codex standards according to us fda food and drug administration so as per your this one as per fssa standards as per uh, no our uh, bis bureau of indian standards and as per uh, our uh, what you call uh, agriculture body can walk into our office whoever visits hyderabad you are most welcome so then again technical reports we put techno economic feasibility reports depending on whatever crops available in those areas detailed project reports so all that whatever i am going to show in the future slides so we give the complete dpr with a very nominal cost so 20000 to 30000 rupees plus 18% gst we give the complete technology so it is self explanatory one can start their industries and carrying out consumer acceptability studies no like you know today morning uh, that students so that one no if you give to somebody so they are not expert they say it's okay and it's coming free of cost they say it's good only but without any bias so we give to the panelists and all and they'll give you accurate consumer acceptability study and techno economic surveys also then r and d project evaluation assessment of packaging so we are having a very good uh, software of mpack so that is you know in 23 meteorological cities of uh, india so we every day monitor uh, temperature and humidity 
and then accordingly so for high humid zones also so that their aluminum laminate packages with nitrogen flush you get uh, more uh, shelf life whereas in other cities like hyderabad and all metallized polyester so again costing also no aluminum uh, will be costing higher so depending on the consumers this one and all so we give them that one then evaluation of packing materials characteristics of food materials hygroscopic non hygroscopic so there this one sponsored r and d projects general technical advisory and engineering consultancy and sensory analysis then we you know in the technical dossier where we are charging you 20 30000 it will have a process know how and the project report in the process know how so we tell them what is the product what is its use what are the specifications of the raw material and the product and standard packing and storing specifications nutritional facts sensory analysis by products their use their specifications and standard raw materials you know i told you mango tomato so which is more uh, good and all so actually here tamil nadu grape growers association approached us and they get the, the grapes you know in the off seasons also so some other harvest season where they are slightly sour so they want to make value addition so they want to make raisins out of that but when you make that no it is sour only like you know people will not love this one so we suggest them you can go into a canning with bricks you know sugar syrup otherwise they are sour otherwise as a table fruit only they go better because in the off season not have a non availability season whereas the thompson seedless variety of 22 to 25 degree bricks is optimum so medium size if it is long you know many may not prefer so all those things we give process details process description flow diagram so starting from raw material then peels how much it will come yield how much so all such things material balance energy balance process parameters critical steps so this is very important that hacp concept have you heard foods and uh, this one agriculture may not be hazard analysis and critical control point so any number of times we have to be cautious milk means again like you know that uh, microbial count will be there that channa and also that is what then detailed equipment specification we also give like you know per day water requirement per day electricity requirement and how much area you require how much you no know, the construction area you require and also everything it is self explanatory and quality assurance laboratory facilities and method also in which way you can get your protein analyzed in which way carbohydrate can be analyzed so sugar reducing sugars non reducing sugar so whatever your product so how to analyze this one ashing so minerals so whatever everything is uh, detailed uh, there then uh, services after process release so detailed uh, no discussion so technically whatever silly doubts also you can come and clarify with us and then demonstration of the process so here also we say you get your own raw material usually people will complain you gave the best and when we are making with our raw material we are not getting good quality product that's why we say whatever raw material you give us we will give you the best product only so we will show them hands on like you know they can be there and watch and advise on selection of plant and machinery we give the probable suppliers also we advise whether that will be suitable for them or not because we won't recommend from a certain vendor because usually they'll think we get the commission back that's why we are advising we never come into that one we are only service oriented we won't take any money from anybody even the technology transfer also once somebody transferred some money extra then they said they don't bother so please process our enquiry our said our audit will not purchase permit you take back that uh, dd and again remit exact amount only the next one so we also have human resource development programs we are having a four semester msc food technology course it is like all agriculture students also can apply then normal uh, bsc students normal microbiology students dairy students engineering students anybody can apply so usually the advertisement will come in the months of june july the classes commence from august so due to covid again it's uh, this one and uh, is all india entrance level so and only one from each state like right now we are having only 28 students uh, first year 28 students the beauty in the course is there are 100 teachers 
like you know i am telling madam also five five students and you know still faculty is more okay ug students you are having but we are having only msc food technology it is not even mtech it is only msc but all of them get campus placement with a topper gets 20 to 25 lakh package so that is what all ceos and coos no all multinationals all local companies they come and recruit from there and they they that sells and even mysoorian also has to take uh, the hostel facility it's a compulsory boarding you have to have your room allotted individual room is provided to the student and then like you know five days and assignments so even uh, no this yeah btech student should learn again no the microbiology microbiology student should learn mathematics so we say plus 2 level maths is compulsory so some people in your agriculture also statistics and all if it is there so this one or normal bsc like you know m by pc students they can take it but usually madam in our state so mpc and by pc they bifurcate in the inter itself so that biology students will not be able to i uh, know adopt to this one because industry is very important no how much space you require so all calculations so that's why maths also is very much this one and then we are having like you know other developing countries also for them separate hostels are there so with them also we give them like you know hostel facility they will have their own washing machines and all they can cook in their room so all developed countries also you know they are developing they will be coming and all and for phd also msc also then again we are having like you know specific training programs for individuals and groups yeah, on specific request from india and other developing countries also recently all that uh, nigerians and all visited cfpr in mysore and sh sponsored short term advanced technology training programs in over 45 specialized areas so all your faculty also can go madam and even all state government officials horticulture officers agriculture officers and even itc itc company also like you know they will send their managers for their quality control of that uh, you know floors and all so all those things and there is one course like infestation and uh, you know pesticide uh, infestation control so all these floors hata and all is such a demand so people will pay in advance and they will be waiting for that course the yeah, next next to this one so we are having also that united nations university program like from other countries and we are having another beautiful course of 12 month floor milling technology so roller floor mills that wheat floor and you know maida and bran and germ separation and all that so there also the recent you know the recent uh, this one 25 lakh package you know record package for the ismt person who has cleared this one usually the owners you know of the roller floor mills only they'll be sending their children and then training of the trainers so ngos and all will train them so that in their local village and all they can you know it is sustainable and short term training programs here yeah, next then uh, cftra departments we are having engineering sciences food engineering and food packaging technology and in the technology development floor milling and baking technology fruit and vegetable technology grain technology then traditional foods and applied nutrition plantation products spices and uh, flavor technology meat and marine sciences then translational research biochemistry and nutrition microbiology and fermentation technology then uh, no not the pps ft plant cell biotechnology and molecular nutrition so next uh, slide so food protection and safety so food protectants and infestation control so they only will offer that uh, training and a uh, very good uh, program and food safety and analytical quality control laboratory which i said state of the art facility so we got like you know it is an excellent uh, this one so from uh, the ministry of uh, minister of science and technology that uh, is the premium institute for uh, food testing laboratory then support departments human resource development technology transfer and business development planning monitoring and coordination information and publicity so if any of you write also those are information publicity they'll take care so they will take you to showcase uh, first initially and all facilities also they will show so cftri we are having uh, no different incubation facilities so millet incubation facility is coming up and you know rice exports basmati rice all rice with boiler so they are establishing full machinery and they, you can export from then and there itself so all these things and these are all our technologies actually they are available on the web 
but i just want to give a glimpse of it and on each page you know each title also two page write up kept on the web so you will have an idea if you want to make a sugar free biscuit so what is its potential how much land you will be requiring so these are we call as a non technical so you will get an idea so if you want to purchase then 20 to 30 thousand you pay so we give the complete technology so sugar free biscuits baking powder so they will not add no direct baking powder so they will make it into a no diluted form so that it will not be getting concentrated one place and then bread also like you know production of brown bread plain bread sweet bread milk bread whole wheat bread then fruit bread high fiber bread ragi bajra and uh, multi grain composite ragi ras konian flavored biscuits wheat germ stabilization then sugar free cupcake sugar free cake rusks and instant pies and mix so so many things are there then again uh, bar cake so with one month shelf stable so again sugar free rusks high protein rusks cake rusks instant cake mixes vermicelli then uh, no vermicelli with protein uh, enriched and layered parotta so these parottas also one week shelf life so that is there and then suruchi meeta so healthy barfi like snack so ne next next honey based bakery products so you use honey instead of sugar so that is again healthy option then sugar free breads eggless cake free mixes shelf stable chapatis high protein biscuits pasta with you know, all chocolate pasta multi grain pasta legume based pasta whole wheat pasta then fortified protein rich vermicelli layered parotta suruchi meeta yeah this is repeating yeah next then gluten free bakery products so some of them like you know it is a fancy now usually indian population is not that gluten sensitive so abroad there is like lot of this one but now because you know the children are staying there they are asking parents also take some gluten free so that's why then low gi noodles you know that uh, glycemic index then husk free flour from small millets atta with multi grain then instant upma mix instant halwa mix instant rava idli mix from multi grain semolina high fiber semolina high protein semolina so different instant upma mix halwa mix rava idli now recently one person has taken and he is launching uh, you know in a big way then shelf stable muffins with natural preservative nutritious high fiber soup sticks gluten free biscuits gluten free cookies and cakes multi grain nutri cookies so all these things are happening then beverage products all like you know our beverages fruit juices coffee tea flavors and all coffee concentrate even cafe coffee day is our client so even big basket even itc so all no kellogs all of them are our clients so cola flavor concentrate all orange flavor concentrate clear lime and lemon lemon flavor concentrate liquid fruits so like you know i uh, 100 100 1 kg pulp me you will get 750 ml of pure banana juice without undiluted so only with the you know treatment with pectinase enzymes so it will be so liquid fruits we can uh, make and honey beverage so honey is so viscous no you put in that and it will not be so you make into a, whatever you want to consume in a beverage form so we can consume full home granite juice and product sugar cane juice bottling fruit syrups and squashes so these are concentrates actually they are very good you get one bottle you get four bottles of juice 1 plus 3 1 in 4 so that is the one but nowadays no that generation so they don't even want to dilute you know whatever that is also additional work we just open maza and then drink and throw the bottle so really we are you no know, generating lot of plastic waste and all then no sugar cane this one lychee products so all these one so any fruit any vegetable you name so we are having technology ready to serve fruit juices beverages neera bottling so coconut neera then palmyra palm neera uh, no even date palm nowadays so they all that neera bottling then a low glycemic index beverage for diabetics banana pseudo stem juice so it is very rich in polyphenols so they are good for cancer patients also then ginger tea herbal teas and coconut beverage from tender coconut preparation of non aerated nutri beverages in glass bottles mixed fruit and vegetable juices fortified sugar cane beverage in glass bottles usually sugar cane no if you sterilize the sugar cane we feel as a jaggery syrup only so it will not be that tasty that's why you add you know lime uh, ginger flavors 
then it will be more palatable yeah next then ginger beverage tender coconut water neera preservation in pet bottles neera concentrate you get that and you concentrate on that green coffee extract now this is also a very good this one lot of polyphenols other thing and is also for slimming many are you uh, know uh, uh, pre uh, prescribing that's why we made that carbonated beverages from mango grapes lime orange so this also actually prime ministers you know request to all that uh, aerated beverage manufacturers also so if they consume nothing you know not much nutrition that's why you make uh, incorporate fruit pulp into that so we make 20% fruit pulp so even if you consume we are getting at least you know this one from this one pan flavored water coffee leaves the brew mix cereal and uh, cereal and pulse products also we have got a number of technology cereal flakes yogur instant traditional foods you know bisi bele bath sambar rasam pongal urad bath imli poha then spice mix puliyogare then poushtik aata composite vermicelli based on ragi flour so complete like you know vermicelli ragi vermicelli so coimbatur somebody is manufacturing then the maize chips corn chips and all ready to eat low fat snack like check you know chakli like you know here murku and all so with low fat like you know extrusion and other things improved maize flour ready to eat low fat flaked spice maize corn snacks then legume based ready to fry snacks so like you know all legumes you know that haldi rams they give you know that puffed channa and the peas green peas and all so those ones ragi based papads pulse based papads decortication of ragi so for children no actually ragi malt will be given so you malt that so you do the germination so starch gets into simple sugars like maltose which is easily digestible for children so actually mysore rural and urban they consume every day that uh, ragi you know they consume every day so night time ragi mudde people will be consuming and for children they give the uh, this one so that germ portion it is deep you know slightly bitter husk and that uh, the germ portion we should remove so that is for that one process then malted ragi flour enzyme rich ready to eat low fat maize snacks from milled maize grits flaking of fox tail millet so fox tail also we can make as jowar flakes you know so we can put it in uh, milk we can uh, use in the you no know, snack items also then composite lentil chips flaked jowar ready to eat sweet and savory snack quick cooking germinated and dehydrated pulses usually pulses we have to do the pressure cooking then only we will be making you know so before itself if it is ready it very convenient then fermented and dehydrated ready mixes for idli dosa then foods for diabetic shelf stable jowar flour usually jowar flour no within 2 3 weeks then it will lose its you uh, know uh, that we, uh, this one we are not able to so we made you uh, know hydro thermal treatment so little steam and this one so that it can be kept because uh, even itc people have taken the technology because they are also releasing individual millet flours also these days then puffed moth bean based sweet and savory snacks processed besan finger millet ragi based murku expanded horse gram ragi flakes you get beautiful pinkish uh, ragi flakes also which we can use these ones and shelf stable optimally milled brown rice then multi grain based fortified snack moth bean dal puff multi grain sweet mix ready to eat snack mix from puffed core cereals and legumes ready to cook multi grain whole mix for drink and porridges convenience flour from ragi suitable for stiff porridge that mudde so even that ragi mudde vending machine also like you know preparation and also we made the this one so deve gowda saab came to uh, cftr and inaugurated now all public canteens they are taking the machines also and they are uh, giving that um, for you know, less price you know that for uh, economically you know these ones also then the convenience flour from ragi that one and finger millet based multi grain semolina so even all millets you now we can make into different you no know, that composition so that it can be used for idli dosa halwa so the different particle size also then you know, protein enriched ragi vermicelli shelf stable roti from non wheat cereal so that's what not only that wheat so ragi rice maize jowar bajra rotis also so with the seven day shelf life so same product yeah next 
so low fat expanded green snack using moringa leaves so again no that uh, moringa with the cereal pulse combination so again moringa leaf we say here like you know is also super food because it has got good protein good fiber content good iron good calcium so that's why like you know if you consume regularly also is a very good uh, nutritional supplement and millet based cookies multi grain gluten free semolina pearl millet and jowar semolina so all different particle sizes so how to get it and all that we gave the technology and many are taking up now so ready to eat weaning food based no malted wheat malted rice multi cereal anti diabetic beverage mix you know dialo 53 so barley wheat and herb based with glycemic index of 53 only and with 49 only glycemic index wheat herb based and barley and herb based with only 47 glycemic index then the convenience food so all convenience mix you know whatever you name it you know ready mixes vada dosa murku jamun jalebi madur vada pakoda flavored flan so all ready mixes we give ready mix upma ready to eat convenience food you no know, the dry chapati kakra then north indian punjabi halwa mix bombay halwa mix chutney paste low fat expanded snacks you no know, extruded then soya based instant sambar mix then low sugar milk burfi deep fat fried flavored cashew kernels shelf stable ready to eat foods thermo processed in retard pouches where that mbif facilities there no that one so all non veg veg any food any rice also you can just put in the, in the, this one and when you go for expedition also till you cut open the packet the product is safe for 9 months at room temperature so not refrigerated no this one so at room temperature so canned vegetable chunks in tomato soup tamarind candy nutri blends of edible oils as per indian government standards only two oils can be blended in 80 to 20 proportion with a label so because already a lot of adulteration is happening so it's very difficult if they mix too too many oils so that's why so all that with a label also they should put and uh, chikki and nutra chikki three formulation that's what high protein millet and high fiber and all then cereal bar and fat powder usually fat is sticky and no it is there in this one so that also we can make into fat you know this one and we can sprinkle also then natural varizinal concentrate from rice bran oil for non food application it's for like you know plant you know the soil replenishing this one value added product then here actually one technology we are having is virgin coconut oil so 65 persons have taken technology from cftri one crore investment with 35 uh, lakh subsidy and all of them like you know because europe and all they don't grow so they are all successful then milk chocolate and uh, no preparation of lutein rich multi purpose ready mix so which is there in our tagitus no that uh, flowers and all so you extract the color and then it is also very good for our eyesight then preparation of protein vitamin mineral fortified chikki low gi soup mixes for diabetics then uh, coming to next category uh, this one is dal based nutritional supplements preservation of ready to serve breakfast foods like idli dosa chutney sambar also like here you are seeing nowadays no put the idli everything and they just they pour water and then madam you eat after just 3 minutes 4 minutes noodles have come like that upma mix has come like that and all then no dolly mix it is another way, very good technology so it is for soft and enhanced idlis so you will get 20% more idlis if you use this mix so recently taj you know uh, that small group or not the other this one taj mahal group of hotels in hyderabad so they have technology and now they are commercially utilizing that chocolate rich in healthy polyphenols chikki with moringa so moringa leaf powder so we made into chikki and very tasty like you know it is not this one because other ingredient jaggery is present and all then food machinery here i want to say we won't sell the machinery we only give the design drawing somebody should fabricate and all and we will provide the fabricator who have taken technology from us so you need not pay us anything we'll just give the address you can procure from them so modern dal mill par boiling and drying plant single effect evaporator simple filling systems continuous chapati making this is a very successful this one in 
pune thane industrial areas so hot dabba walas will prepare in that time and then they are selling then leaf cup machine so this is another very good uh, intervention so biodegradable so ereka nut sheet and our uh, no bahini of sheets and all so we are making now i am seeing you no know, some people they put the polythene lamination aluminum foil lamination again not environmental friendly and camco industries actually they are exporting all that uh, no for uh, their uh, ice creams and you no know, all these uh, deserts they are uh, full uh, that mangalore is full of uh, ereka nut so when the leaf falls you no know, that uh, base material so which itself is having strength also so 100% biodegradable so even uh, recent uh, that india indian science congress our machine from hyderabad we put it at nagpur so prime minister may be inaugurating they told so they didn't come but minister of science and technology visited and we you know csir pavilion got the best pavilion award in uh, indian science congress then simple pulse deharking machines and ozone based air disinfection system so this post covid our people have worked and all and now cftra and all csir industries they are putting because this covid no airborne and all so it is not this one so they have installed at our delhi offices and all is a very good intervention so versatile dal mill ye oh, earlier we made mini dal mill only for bolder varieties of pulses now for green gram and uh, black gram also same machine because a small person cannot make this one uh, lakh that one lakh so we made everything into one continuous idli making plant with that 1200 idlis in one hour and then 600 dosas in one hour even our canteen used to run with our dosa machine and eat the chapati also in our lunch time so how many visitors comes also and in our international food conventions and our seminars and all we are using design on spouted bed coffee roaster integrated rubber roller sheller haller rice mill vibro fluidized bed roaster dry maize milling plant so device for pneumatic extrusion of dough into different shapes so different geometrical so not only triangles hexagons octagons anything and infrared heating of cashew kernels for tester removal then co co combined infrared hot air heating system for food processing hot air popping machine so continuous popping like you know your popcorn and you no know, millets you can do continuous desiccated coconut dryer so coconut also you can do continuous drying continuous bioplate casting machine automatic continuous cooker even our cftra canteens runs with that so huge cans you no know, is continuously it's getting then sugar cane de skinning machine and hygienically processed sugar cane so no nothing waste also goes inside and nothing is this one no dust no flies and all so a coimbatore doctor has taken initially and for 5 years we cannot give the design drawings to other then chutney dispenser integrated hot air roasting machine continuous vada making machine vada is a bit difficult no for not all will be and then it is continuously like you know making and then again you take it out again you know you just put that batter into that so you get that one then mini versatile dal mill hand operated lemon cutting machine molding machine for basin soji rava and for small you know that uh, uh, moti chur laddu and all that so different things and all device useful for sheeting and cutting chikki and other indian traditional foods like barfi and all farming and frying machine domestic dough shaping and farming machine continuous dough sheet extruder so even our chapati machine also nothing goes waste is extrusion make into round the batter comes back and again it goes into so no this one low cost servo based plc operated grain grain products automatic weigher for flour mill industry so 25 kg 50 kg bags whatever you want tiny rice mill so for villages it is really useful continuous wet cum drying machine so wet grinding so same machine you can do dry grinding as well as wet grinding so colloidal mill and fruit and vegetable also you name any fruit any vegetable we got technology fruits and vegetable dehydration grapes banana onion potato peas and uh, green chillies uh, one person here at chennai gratitude farms he is doing a wonderful this one madam retired army person and for the army people 3 acres land they'll get so he is asking to grow 
like you know all those things and he is and uh, at uh, hyderabad we are having one ngo the seed it's called seed society for energy environment and development they provide solar dryers so recent for the new year he ordered uh, 1000 dehydrated mango bars and no other supplements to provide to other you know people military people you know stationed at high altitudes and all so he is really gratitude farms he is doing wonderful things oyster mushroom dehydration post harvest technology protocols for export of mango so alfonso mango dashari mango bangan palli so all varieties we are giving then technology protocol for export of banana variety dwarf cavendish so even actually mysore nanjun gud and all there is a specific variety rasbale only this much size elaki bale so very small but very tasty and even if the outer coat becomes fully black also inside it's not spoiled so those varieties they are doing and curried vegetables so that's what in a can now you can supply the cans you can use fruit jams and jellies preparation then tutti frutti so from papaya and carrot we can make it then swallow root candy so nannari we call no the decalepsis hamiltoni it's a sugandhi pala something they call is a flavored product so very good uh, this one so fruit toffees so in the chocolates only incorporate fruit pieces fruit and vegetable canning so usually fruits we can with uh, uh, sugar syrup and uh, salt you know salt solution for the brine solution for the vegetables so these are also like you know export oriented so people will are doing you know the canning and they are exporting pickles and chutneys osmo air dried amla segments so use either salt or sweet then you make them you know like you know make the fruit more sweeter more this one and then the jack fruit pineapple and then mango slices potato flour then nowadays lot of people are incorporating in all the snacks then tomato products so tomato products we give them tomato puree tomato ketchup then tomato sauce ketchup then again tomato a uh, juice concentrate as well as uh, tomato sweet chutney and tomato pickle so all together we give for 40000 plus gst so people are purchasing and you know they are making uh, you know the products then uh, jamun fruit products so the you know the jamun so squash rts beverage syrup carbonated beverage dehydrated drumstick powder so drumstick also like you know the vegetable also we make so that in our sambar no good flavor will come instant dehydrated vegetable curry mixes so amla spread so again amla is a very good uh, vitamin c supplement so we made that modified atmosphere package of minimally processed vegetables so this is the cut vegetables so you can keep like you know very safe for 7 to 10 days at ambient temperatures and the same fruits also we gave recently to big basket value added products from fix anjir so we made like you know all other products the here also you can make a beautiful jelly so guava then black grapes and uh, anjir you make a natural jelly so usually outside they are using with synthetic syrups so only that sugar syrup then pectin and uh, synthetic flavor color whereas the natural fruit you can add dehydrated bitter gourd then instant mushroom soup mix dipping oil formulation for grapes earlier we used to do sulfitation so sulfur again gives throat irritation and all so we made a dipping oil where the pores will become this one and the faster evaporation this technology we got it from hyderabad campus the citrus pectin extraction from hyderabad campus and pepain from hyderabad the center only we have developed and bio preservation of sugar cane chunks so sugar cane chunks as such with bio preservation no artificial preservatives then amla paste date syrup concentrate nowadays tv you are at, uh, seeing advertisement of you know, lion date con uh, concentrate iron supplement so we have given the technology mango steen fruit products value added products from custard apple sitafal so there also we made into shelf stable pulp and micro filtered beverage and jelly also then products from pears so pears also dehydrated fruit juice and powder this also somebody from himachal they were approaching us because self help groups and all can make their own this one low fat expanded green snack using moringa so moringa leaf product another one meat and marine products we have got instant gravy mixes meat pickles sausages 
meat fish poultry wafers i said no potato is a junk to this one whereas here you get protein also this one and shelf stable chicken biryani shelf stable chicken tidbits meat burger and shelf stable kebab mixed with chicken meat then ready to eat shelf stable egg crunchy bite egg cubes dehydrated egg cubes deep fat fried egg bites this rinivasa farms and hatcheries recently have taken all the egg products and they are making they got a uh, first of its kind uh, that uh, uh, food park exclusively for uh, animal products at vongol uh, uh, prakasham district at uh, for this one 65 acres were given so they are making liquid egg and liquid yolk you know egg yolk whole whole uh, egg uh, this one and all that now they have taken all these technologies low fat meat kofta shelf stable biryani paste egg loaf instant gravy mixes shelf stable varieties of curry paste for vegetarian and non vegetarian food so this also janani foods at hyderabad he has taken and now he is exporting to different places not only in india outside also is sending then microbial and fermentation products we are having biosensor for glucose and uh, sucrose and microbial production of fructo oligosaccharides so this one tata chemicals have taken and they are commercially producing now csir you know we have given an award for them is a health promoting uh, you know substances kit for the detection of aflatoxins kit for the detection of deoxynevalinol then cultivation of dunaniella this is beta carotene rich microalgae so apart from spirulina we also give dunaniella as well as botryococcus then uh, a hango so after hangover you no know, after you consume alcohol so it's not safe to go home with that this one so if you consume this so you will be this one and your body gets purified so this technology first of its kind 30 lakhs was the price for that but our own phd student from cftri who is running a business at bangalore has taken technology and commercially started then banana juice then uh, t biosensor mass propagation of vanilla by tissue culture so whatever we are getting in the market no they are all uh, no um, synthetic uh, vanilla flavors whereas original vanilla will be running in thousands so this also like you know mass propagation of vanilla and that's what i said no that ras barley and elaki barley at uh, nanjanagod so by tissue culture we are giving preparation of wine from garcinia then uh, herbal hand sanitizer recent post covid so we have given in the gel form also as a, well as a liquid form herbal spray sanitizer so as well as that ozone uh, sanitization all these came with the, uh, this one now also like you know our csr real really appreciate because as per situation we are working on that production of banana wine and banana alcohol high performance advanced oxidation process for uh, stps so all these things here yeah, next so next category comes uh, uh, plantation and spice products here also like large number of no any spice and plantation crop nato dye preparation so this is bixin no that bixa orellana is the botanical name so here no they call as uh, uh, no um, very good uh, this one so this is actually the seed contains only on the outer surface 1.5% but still like you know recent one person has taken ragala foods has taken technology and he is uh, you know supplying to uk also so bixin arbex in wonder in this this one is both oil soluble and water soluble formulation we can make with the same this one processing of cocoa beans into cocoa mass cocoa butter cocoa powder then compounded asphodida yeah even recent uh, with that uh, no afghanistan we used to import uh, this one but now because of all the, the happenings in our political situation now himachal pradesh our labs already started growing uh, asphodida plantation also here and purple revolution also like all these uh, um, our lavenders and all also it's a big huge floriculture mission from csir so all that floral no nbri and cftri so all of us are propagating all of them then garlic powder mustard powder superior quality white pepper green pepper not the kala mirch you know the black pepper so green form will fetch is very you know premium price then plant growth promoter then spice oleo resins 
so turmeric chilies you know these technologies were taken more than 10 people and they are all exporting kcp biotech then uh, no naturate agro products arvin parmila agarbatti manufacturers they are also extracting this and exporting then uh, at hyderabad many some seven eight and even plant lipids from cochin no? so they also have taken the technologies yeah the only active uh, active principle so oleo resin we call so it's only capsaicin so enriched then uh, curcumin so this is also for anti cancer antioxidant and all so tamarind juice concentrate and powder crossing of cocoa this one desiccated coconut ready spice mixes rasam and pulao zinc edta chelate so any minerals they'll bind so in order to re release them we use this garlic paste ginger paste gravy paste and spray dried coconut milk powder so coconut milk you extract from that and no spray dried so actually that coconut milk also was used mostly in our uh, no creams and all no that uh, fa- not for uh, cos- cosmetics yeah next one then sugar cane juice spread green pepper in brine so same thing in salt and you know they have um, vinegar solutions we can preserve green tamarind spice mix removal of smoky odor from butty cured large cardamom then preparation of cashew apple candy faster curing of vanilla beans preparation of radical scavenging conserve from tea leaves then chlorogenic acid rich coffee conserve from green coffee beans this is also for slimming and all so very good uh, uh, no nutraceutical yeah next one then preparation of water soluble turmeric colorant usually turmeric we put in the oil and it's oil soluble but after use from the spent uh, uh the material we can may uh, extract this 2 hydroxy 4 methoxy benzaldehyde a natural flavorant from decalypsis hamiltoni coffee flakes based mouth refresher then production of coconut spread based on mature coconut water concentrate and coconut dietary fiber then virgin coconut oil i said no it's a success story then marigold oleo resin preparation preparation of dehydrated green pepper without chemicals so protein that's what this is a real very good important one we all also should consume at least like you know 0.8 to 0.9 gram per kg body weight so that's what no all not only pulses but oil seed meals and uh, they are rich in so sesame dehulling dry and wet process rural based biotechnological production of spirulina i said no where 60% protein is present in spirulina powder then full fat soya flour edible then minimizing the drip loss in frozen peeled and deveined shrimps so when you export frozen ones so after you thaw no 100 gram will be lost so because the person no he will be exported and he expects money and is lost so that's why we made a salt where that loss is minimized then low cost nutrient supplement for malnourished children so with nin it is practically you know evaluated and we are giving that low fat high protein snack foods bland soya protein and concentrate then high protein soya cereal ready mix for preparation of kesari bhat upma porridges energy food new formulation so ap foods and telangana foods they are supplying not only to both states but odisha and five other states for all these anganwadis and all they are giving that then dehulling of niger seeds then neutro crispos feet and savory products heat resistant white sesame seeds so over the buns and all you see you know they put and at 240 degrees also they are not charred so that is a treatment we give them groundnut butter that peanut butter so it's actually though it is called peanut butter it is rich in both protein as well as uh, this one very energy this one all gyms and all now they are advocating so this one soya protein hydrolysate so these also hydrolysate so this is a very good uh, uh, supplement even for the sports persons then preparation of beta carotene and mineral fortified buns and stabilized edible rice bran so that's what like you know by immediately if you won't do that you know free fatty acid content will go up and you know it's not fit for this one so we made a, this one so emerging r&d innovations at cftri ultra high pressure system for food preservation so with that like you know bioactive compounds and all can be so sugar cane juice tender coconut water high pressure processing is a non thermal processing and you know 
safe while using undesirable changes in physical chemical properties nutritional flavors vitamins so everything it's a very good uh, system then no the schematic what cftri developed this one then no this uh, is using you know it kills microorganisms by permeabilization of cell membrane this high pressure application leads to effective reduction of the activity of food quality related to enzymes oxidases and the flavors and it uh, you know ensures a very high quality and shelf stable products so here like you know just it is a affects only non covalent bonds like hydrogen bond ionic and hydrophobic bonds little effect on chemical constituents like you know your protein you know whatever that sugar is present nothing will be affected in that that's why flavor color and nutrition will be retained in that the next one so amla powder and also non aqueous application of membrane technology so we use the membrane this one usually for the refining of vegetable oil and all but again now we are making this category for the green amla powder also so where like you know this is the process for the non aqueous uh, this one so this is like you know green amla and really not brown and all a very good powder you will be obtaining from this then uh, smart packaging i said no different uh, conditions and all so like you know the one milk the dairy industry approached us so with you know we developed a uh, no indicator so one tag we put that the color change will indicate it is a good and it is about to spoil and it is spoiled so with that so he is spending only 50 paise per pack and he is getting all that you no know, before it gets spoiled he is getting back and making into paneer and the other value value added product so fresh milk will be looking like that on the cover you no know, that strip if it is spoiled orange again it goes to pink so mpax software i told you, you know it is our different meteorological conditions so we can predict not you have your own product you can bring to us so we will predict you know we'll do some this one desiccator studies just 15 20 days and we will give you the best package so all like you know itcs and you no know, your maggi products so mother their spice and all so they are coming because different altitudes different humidity conditions and all they will have these ones so yeah, next so that this is also the same thing you know or next next, next one. so that is the software the yeah, next next one so shelf life extension of prasadams so that is what like you know because you know we go come to one place and want to serve you no know, our people and all so that is the reason why like you know this north karnataka wheat based godi haggi so that prasadam so we made into different this one and one year shelf life so even people can send abroad also so this is the one with uh, different uh, this one so this is the product we have given and vacuum frying so this is another one no so usual frying 160 degrees all like you know all our vitamins minerals will be this one that's why we are putting vacuum frying where like you know it's 90 95 degrees only we fry so that all flavors so fruit chips then vegetable chips yams and all anything we can fry it's a beautiful uh, this one so very good even bendi you know 1 kg bendi you will get 100 gram of you know uh, that uh, dehydrated one and we can just use that uh, very nicely yeah vacuum frying and madams uh, you know amuda madams incubation facilities there you can go and see yeah then bottling of beverages so all these carbonated beverages with 20% fruit content so we have given uh, the systems so chilling carbonation bottling lines and shrink wrap so everything is there so it's a this one no mango pineapple grapes so all these things you can make into you no know, 20% uh, this one so all that products you can make into here yeah. then mobile food processing unit so this is now a great success now northeast they are ordering another 20 to 25 this one so mobile unit for food processing and demonstration provides the opportunity so then and there itself tomatoes jams so jellies so you can process at this one only so these are you no know, the uh, even conducting on site training programs also we can arrange in that van only it's a bus uh, this one so all equipments already put it in that so it's already coming into you no know, now it is not this full model is available so it is commercially and 8 10 orders have come already advanced drying techniques so different you know radio frequency microwave electromagnetic heating 
so all these things club and also we got a very good food engineering division so really we are having a very good uh, equipment made on these uh, no advanced drying uh, equipment so all these things uh, no cftri developed these uh, equipment then the free technologies we also kept all of them free technology so anybody can download so we are uh, request you to download so that whoever is the entrepreneur you will have an idea how to write a dpr detailed project report i myself download and whoever comes i'll give them so you need not even download you can copy and take it so this is what no each category we kept one no? so people can use and directly you can make the product you can claim that it is cftri technology so on the pack also so advantage in no, taking cftri technology you can put on the pack the technology from cftri so id batter so those side batter he has taken technology and on the pack it is there so all these things yeah next so we also give the uh, no our facility for the trial run so you can make the product before you invest you can come and make product on you know, just a small amount for the electricity and you know, that daily labor very nominal charges and you can make the product put it in the market and then you no know, seeing your success you can say you know initiate your own manufacturing unit so that is also we are giving the equipment on uh, uh, hiring basis yeah so all uh, spray drying uh, so everything all that extrusion so now millet is there and i and no a nutraceutical and phyto incubation facility is there one person is taken no so that's a vitamin b12 so with five mentors from cftri so all biochemistry processing so everything so we give them so 15 incubators now again second batch of incubators we are calling them so that is like you know that molecular level nutrition level also we are taking care next one that analytical i said no this codex you know this lab so fsaqcl food safety and analytical quality control laboratory is one of its you know only it is present in south all disputed samples that time that coca cola pesticide residues and recent maggi episode all samples come to us and we give unbiased report the um, the analyst will not know what is the product and who has given we ask them to test this one only that he will give the report again the committee will sit and you know appraise if anything wrong again we will redo the thing with with another analyst and very confidential so he he will not know from which company it has come and all the analyst only a confidential head only will be keeping all that and a huge rush is there so minimum it takes 6 months 6 weeks to get the report but still people are waiting in the queue for this yeah all things you know vitamins minerals uh, pesticide residues anything related to food everything they will be doing all additives preservatives everything with limit and all so our office is situated at uh, hyderabad uh, this one uh, at uh, email and all is present here and then our mysore address is there anyway i shared the ppt like you know whoever requires can take that and this is mysore it is just across railway station one can walk across railway station we get our this one so that is uh, no director at cftri directly you can write and hrd human resource development and ttbd like you know and if you want to have educational tours and all i a n d p so i uh, information and publicity uh, so for them uh, they you can write and they will take care yeah so again anybody wants to start any industry you should take fssa license anything related to food so very nominal cost so you don't go to any consultants nothing is required everything is available on the website fssai.gov.in so there all things are available our application is available your name your this one you know email phone number so everything you know self explanatory fees for registration like our pan card only 100 rupees you pay you get you are registered so 7500 if you have play pay is so all india so you can market anywhere in india for the whole one year so 5000 for the state license and 2000 only you know for the any other business operator including your caterers your you no know, boarding houses hotels all restaurants anybody like you know banquet halls 
so this again they are having a less strength and all now they are recruiting a lot of scope like you know all you students you just watch fssa website so lot of posts are being advertised and lot of training programs fast track training programs are being uh, this one and also like i said no that net pro fan so that also will make my madurai chapter i assure you will make one chapter here and then you also can have that eat right mail i eat millet eat right millets so all these things so i request all of you to take active part including students so i said no you are the future this one you as a brand ambassadors for the no both like you know you are uh, older generation and you are you know uh, coming generation so this is all from my end thank you all and you uh, know the session is open for discussion feel free so don't get hesitant you know like it is uh, i should not ask a silly question it's all learning like you know so you, how fast you can do you know messaging we can't do that fast some things you are very good and some things we are no this one with our uh, experience over a period of years only we also gained it's not no overnight uh, we develop so feel free whatever doubt later also you can write to me mail me you can speak with me over phone and all so you are all uh, welcome to this one so anybody got any specific doubts you can ask good evening ma'am i am hari garan first time mr ma'am ट <laughs> So that is the major constraint. Raw material, the quality of the raw material, the labor requirement, so all these, and power also. Like you know, suddenly power goes, he cannot run the industry. So water, so all these. Ma'am, next two question is, uh, is there any technology to extend the shelf life of bread, ma'am? Yeah, the bread also, like you know, you keep at room temperature, it is fit for consumption for five days. Seven days, whatever use by day, you know, best we go. And you put the same bread in the refrigerator. You can use for a one month. One you put the same bread in the freezer compartment. You can use for one year. This is not me. It is all India Bread Manufacturers Association. They come and have like you know high tech exhibitions and all. So it is their you no know, authenticated one. So anything frozen, but again, you no. Know, how many times you open the door and all? Here I want to tell all uh, no, our uh, usual practice of keeping leftover curries in the fridge and expect you not know, to expect. So, but whatever you require for that meal, you keep it. And as soon as it gets cooled, you no, know, you put it in the refrigerator. It will come for three, four, five days. Even our chutney, madam, I'll make that coconut chutney and all that, and I'll put in the freezer compartment. And if I life life can be extended even actually yesterday somebody called there are uh, per day five ton you no know, from different you know whatever that used by date mm -hmm. so some already would have got uh, you know the import growth so visible now invisible before that you know correlated change so they are he is telling valuation so we said whatever is safe we can but if it is an unsafe you no know, the top is will be produced and all so that can go for Again, sterilization and the for uh, cattle feed and other things after sterilization. Then for them also we should not give the return. So a lot of you no know, startups are coming up, ideating on all these things. Ma'am, next is uh, is there any method to determine the bulk capacity of bulk density of it, yeah, ma'am? Yeah. It. Yeah, you can. But all that fruit, peel waste and all that, so we can generate electricity. We can generate uh, gas, cooking gas. So many roles. Yeah, all these. That's what I said. Bowen Valley Market with the fruit and vegetable waste only. They are uh, putting the you uh, know current power. So uh, the hotels also are running with that. Even IACT gives with the waste, food material, and all that uh, fuel. 
so cooking gas so all these things and the remaining also can go as a uh, manure uh, no for the pl plants and all so there is nothing waste so husks also no uh, that also can go to poultry feed and all so nothing is waste from food industry that's why i said but you should process not like you know throw that uh, waste into the uh, no your sewerage and all so you should process then uh, etps so all that you should maintain madam madam i'm sorry madam sulfur is used as a reducing agent in cane sugar manufacture mm. is there any a healthy alternative to replace sulfur because it is causing no yeah problem. yeah throat irritation respiratory, other things and all yeah respiratory that's why we also made the dipping oil any, madam anything, uh, uh, we oil. are not working on uh, that pay aspects but we are also having uh, no with the sugar cane research institute recent mou so i'll find out and i'll get you back and uh, second question uh, coffee filter coffee is very famous sir uh. There are lot of uh, favorites of that. Yeah. Is there anything, any process or uh, product available? Any process making or uh, product ma machinery? Yeah, now even ID battery is coming up with that, madam. A small dispenser. Again, we make into you uh, know like uh, spray drying, make into powder, and then vacuum drying. So different alternatives. Yes, so when we look into the departments of uh, CFTRI. Uh, i am very much impressed about the list of products and uh, machineries uh, where we can collect the details about the price and uh, product mm, you can write to head ttbd madam and you can write to us also i will uh, get in touch and like you know dal mills and all we get from uh, that you know, nalanda agro works and uh, one other ami engineering from patna but they will come they will fix uh, grouting everything they will do and we won't come into picture if you are if you if anybody wants to fabricate and make machines then we take royalty from them so initial design drawings only we charge from them that's all later any number of units but usually madam even id batter also after making so much profits they won't say how much they have manufactured they don't want to give that's what they are saying you know meager 25 30000 they pay us they put their label cftra technology but they they want to you know play safe and if we ask also you are not giving no we have modified little process so that's why we need not give like that they are telling okay. so that so how the products are being commercialized madam do you undergo any process you that is the these or anything like that you put it in website or you organize some meeting That's, how do you commercialize the products madam uh, on the website they are available and whoever approaches also will tell not only these other things are also available so that's why this human resource development program for students also will teach them so that this one and websites and uh, other these exhibitions you know indian science congress and india international science festival so all things purple revolution and we get like you know 38 labs now madam aerospace robotics drones so different different items so minerals materials ours comes agriculture and uh, food processing together we put a one pavilion so other this one like that so and then like whatever you know whoever approaches us and we also like you know whoever comes for one this one we tell about others also like you know that interest If they are having interest, no. What else is there? Then we'll explain them all these things. I give like you know we organize all India radio lectures also, like all these different categories. One day, one this one and all popularization of science, and then entrepreneurs and the farmers also like that and all. And lot of these KVKs and no, these RARs, those people also bring to us. the other day himachal pradesh say they came actually to ccmb for, uh, for the horticulture and forestry university it seems so they came and you know they said they are requesting mysore people 
where they didn't receive any approval so they said morning 11:30 they called and 2 o'clock they said we want to visit i said yes you come then they said yeah yeah very nice madam we were able to so all that so like that all students from all over so hyderabad now i don't know whether tourist extraction yeah, attraction or anything they are coming to us from all over india and you know all odisha chatisgarh and agra so all food science colleges they are coming to because mysore may be like you know reach bangalore and then travel i don't know here direct they can come and all so really like you know that extension activity is going on very well but now our departments are telling us to do more on r and d you know not much on extension extension is only a small part but you develop you know the technology that's why we were working on natural food colors we are extra you know working on millet extruded products and you no know, other instant mixes tomorrow day after we are having kv uh, kvic proposals to two proposals again they asked for presentations i'm also expert members for all of them so another uh, this one i want to say i'm also like you know we are having one association of food scientists and technology since you are also agriculture food production and all you are all can become members of that also it's only like you know 500 rupees or so for students or 1000 rupees i don't remember for two years not one year two years you can be members for this one first year uh, you know yeah, btech students so first and second year and third and fourth once you pay that is sufficient whereas others they will be charging 1000 and odd and for life members madam 7000 you pay as a lifetime like it's not like when we retire nothing like that till we are survive so we communicate all those things so all those particulars also i will send and you that's also you can make one chapter of madurai so even actually here cochin and you know other places they are all having so afsti you can also and world food day 16th october anyway agriculture this one they will give you 25000 support also for all these things so i'll be in touch with you both madams and then i'll keep appraising so you can with all your students and all this much strength you can open communicate to headquarters now i became all india national vice president also and this year on this mysore we are organizing international food convention so i you know request all of you to attend because you can see the world class facility and you can also participate and for students also we organize separate events extempore speeches then we organize quiz programs we organize campus placement programs so through afsti so it's very useful for the students so actually at hyderabad we organize for both telangana and andhra pradesh essay writing competition on the same theme announced by fao and hand written otherwise they'll cut paste and they'll send us the nonsense so we say and then we give three best essays to come and present and we give them tada and we ask them to present on par with the eminent scientists so we want to make them train you no know, catch them young and then you are having good infrastructure good you no know, manpower and very good eminent you uh, know scientists so i want to make you so within no uh, at least by february both chapter should be open from madurai yeah thank you thank you all for your patience listening thank you uh, good evening everyone i take this opportunity first to thank our uh, honorable vice chancellor madam uh, to permit us to conduct uh, this uh, useful uh, guest lecture next i would like to place my record uh, thanks to dr uh, sindhil sir dean uh, school of post graduate studies has given permission and may and facilitated uh, this program next uh, we place our sincere record of thanks to our honorable uh, uh, dean madam uh, who has been a pillar of support behind uh, in conducting this program uh, our many thanks to uh, information packed lecture delivered by our beloved uh jyotirmayee madam thank you madam uh next i place my sincere record to dr amuda madam who has touched upon the recent areas of food processing in her uh, introductory remarks and uh, our sincere thanks to also uh, goes to our uh, uh, beloved professor and head madam department of food science uh, who has been toiling around for a week or so 
for conducting this program and uh, uh, i thank all the other uh, head of the departments for giving the support to conduct this program um, and a uh, special thanks to our uh, pg and phd students who shouldered the responsibilities for conducting this program a special word of thanks to dr m ilamaran uh, who has been a pillar of support to conduct this program making all the technical arrangements and uh, and uh, a uh, special thanks to all the ug students who had uh, enthusiastically participated in this program and uh, my, our thanks to the department of agronomy for sparing this hall and the engineering department for arrange for the select uh, all the other supports and uh, uh, all those people who has uh, supported us for conducting this program thank you, thank you.